nestled in Johannesburg's northern suburbs, the sanctuary Mandela is a boutique hotel where pages of the nation's history were written. Once the home of South Africa's first democratically elected president, the building is now owned by the Nelson Mandela Foundation. It recently underwent a makeover and is now equipped to give visitors the five-star Madiba treatment. Matteo Koripa explains. Nestled in Johannesburg's northern suburbs, the Sanctuary Mandela is a boutique hotel where pages of the nation's history were written. Once the home of South Africa's first democratically elected president, the building is now owned by the Nelson Mandela Foundation. It recently underwent a complete makeover and is now equipped to give visitors the five-star Madiba treatment. Kind of what we want to do, we want to show you sides of Madiba that you didn't see previously. Um, and also teach you some things that you might not have known before. Um, it's also an outlet for the Nelson Mandela Foundation where they have these beautiful art pieces in the archives um, and this is an opportunity to display all those art pieces. The anti-apartheid leader hosted a wide variety of high-profile guests at the property, including supermodel Naomi Campbell and former US President Bill Clinton. Now guests can walk the same corridors, stay in the nine curated rooms for 250 to 500 dollars a night to show that there's a different way of maintaining a legacy and for the legacy to be self-sustaining i mean we look at some of the places like your um, lily's leaf right now and you don't want this to you don't want the same thing to happen here and this is how we're going to achieve this this is going to be around for many years to come for many more people to see it because this place will actually sustain itself and take care of itself Lily's Leaf is a South African heritage site. It was used as the secret headquarters of the resistance against the apartheid government during the 1960s. It's been a museum since 2008, but is at risk of closure after revenues plunged during coronavirus lockdowns. The hotel's general manager says he plans to avoid the same fate for Sanctuary Mandela by providing guests with unique experiences. That includes the cuisine. It's prepared by the former president's chef, Oli Swandoyia, who dishes up some of the Nobel laureate's favorite meals. He had in sweet chicken that uh, he liked also the most, and then, but when he's, you serve him that chicken, he wants to eat it with his hands, not fork and knife. He just wants to use his hands so to, to get straight to the bones and to get straight to them. Hotel staff members say they want to highlight Mandela's qualities of humility and elegance in their efforts to make visitors feel right at home. Muto Kwaripe, TRT World.